Yo, yo, what is up? So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to bring in our new hair into Unreal Engine. So we'll be making the strand version and then with the LODs, it'll come out and change into a card version. So in the last system where we were using the uh, hairnet plugin, uh, this wasn't really a great option, but with the using Blender's built-in hair system, uh, we can convert our hair into cards pretty easily so yeah let's just hop into it all right so we're gonna hop into our hair right here and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the face here we're gonna go into our particle settings here we want to turn off show emitter and show emitter right there and from here we can just go ahead and export this version of the hair out so go up to file export Olympic uh, when you're doing it this way we're gonna have to do some settings a little bit differently but uh, we're gonna go to scale 100 into frame one uh, we're gonna turn this off and for actually before we do this let's change our just make sure our display and render amount are set to 50 here so let's go back up to file export Olympic and set our scale to 100 starting in frame to one turn both of these off so in last time we used the selected objects uh we're gonna choose selected object um and visible objects and we're gonna change this from render to viewport and then we want to turn off all of this and that should be fine so let's just export that and then we'll hop into unreal engine all right, so once we're in Unreal Engine, we're gonna go to our custom hair folder here. We're gonna make a new folder. I'm gonna call this one hair one, and we're just gonna throw our first hair into there. Then we're gonna make another new folder. We're gonna call this hair two. And we'll open this one up and we will bring in our hair two. Let's pull that guy in. Our settings should still be the same. Um, so, yeah this should be fun so we'll just import and you'll see we got our second hair let me just delete our other hair for now and uh yeah this is our first hair so let's just go into some of the settings here i'm gonna go ahead and make a few lod's for this so lod zero and lod one and let's go ahead and i'm just gonna add four more for our card system uh, yeah like that so I'm not really gonna go over these settings again because we went over it in the last video I'm mainly just gonna try to you know show you some things about using the card system so for now we can just close this save all and we're gonna go back into blender and now I'm gonna show you how to convert this into a card system so I'm going to show you a little example of something at first, uh, just so you could be aware of, you know, some performance things with going to the card system. So right now we have our display and render amount set to 50. Uh, you will probably want to set this to be much lower and I will show you why. Go to your modifiers. So the way that you convert this is you click this little button right here, convert to mesh. And you'll see that converts it. It is now a mesh that you can click on. But if you go up here to this drop down menu, overlays, uh, go to the statistics right here. And if you look, this has 600,000 vertices nearly. Uh, that's a lot. That's going to affect performance. So we're just going to control Z that. And what we're going to do is we're gonna go back to our particle settings over here uh, particle settings and we're gonna bring the the display amount down if I can find it right here I'm gonna bring this down to like five on viewport and render that way we get way less then we're gonna go back up to the modifiers and we're gonna just convert to mesh and you'll see 
this uh we click on it it gives us way less vertices 91,000 it's still quite a bit but um it's still gonna be cheaper than using the um the strand version of the hair so uh if you wanted to you could just export this as is but i want to show you some other ways some other things that you can do uh with this version of the hair so click on this hair go up to object and we're going to go down to convert we're going to convert this to a curve so convert that and you'll see we get this little curve this little data menu down here and we're going to click on that and we're going to click on geometry and something you could do to thicken this this hair up is you can go to extrude and I'm gonna set this to say like 0 0.002 and you'll see it'll thicken it up by like a lot but that will also give you you know more more vertices so I'm gonna set that you can you can export it like this if you want to but I'm gonna set this back down to zero and I'm gonna show you some other things you can do to affect the shape of this hair so I'm going to go up here to add and I'm going to go to curve and we're going to add a, a circle and you'll see we get a little circle right here and I'm just going to pull this guy over and I'm going to press S on the keyboard and scale it way way down and then I'm going to click on the hair and then we're going to go to geometry and the, the curve menu here. And we're going to change this from round to object. And we're going to choose our circle. And you'll see, uh, you can use this to kind of shape out your hair. Now, something else we can do is we can click on our circle on the menu here. Go up and change the resolution preview. Because as you can see, that added a ton of vertices to our hair. Uh, we now have 2.7 million. So we're going to click on this. We're going to go to the resolution preview, and we're going to bring this down to 2. And that should give us a lot less. Uh, I didn't bring our vertices down for some reason. Let's uh, scale this down. Scale our circle down a bit. And... Oh, did I change the wrong... Oh, okay. Yeah, I changed the resolution on our hair. You want to click on the circle and change the resolution. So click on the circle and on the resolution preview here, we're going to set that to 2. And you see the vertices go way down. It's still quite a bit, over 400,000. But you can see this is kind of what it does to the hair. Uh, it'll be a little more rounded. Uh, but I want to show you some other options. We're just going to delete that circle. We're going to go back up to add curve and we're going to add a path and you'll see we get this line right here and I'm just going to move it over scale it way way down I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode and you'll see we have five vertices on this I'm going to delete these two so press shift on your keyboard and just click that one and that one and press X and delete those vertices and then what we're going to do is go back into object mode, click on the hair, and then on the curve menu here, go to object, and you can choose our path as the object, and you'll see we get this kind of a thing. And, you know, you can click on the circle or our path here, and you can scale it, scale it way, way down to get it a little closer to our hair. And you see you get kind of more of this thing going on. You can also, you know, affect the shape of the curve by rotating. Pressing R on your keyboard. And rotating uh, that guy around. It should affect it. I don't mm, Didn't seem to do much, though. We'll scale it down. R. Z. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be affecting it. Usually it should. But yeah, you can you can do it this way. Uh, but you can see this still gives you quite a bit of vertices. So go and click on this. Click on your uh, 
your circle. And we're going to do the same thing that we did last time in the resolution preview. I'm going to change this down to one. And. Oh, I did the same thing again. Don't change the resolution preview on your hair. Just change the resolution preview on the path. Change it down to one. And you'll see that bring the ver that brought the vertices down to 148. So that is another thing that you could do for uh, you know affecting the shape of your your card version. As you can see, this definitely looks more like you know standard cards you would see with hair. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna export this. So for all the options that I showed, this process is gonna be the same. So what you can do is click on your curve here, and we're gonna go back to object. We're going to convert this back to a mesh like that. And then, you know, you can add a material to this if you wanted to. I'm just going to choose the hair material. And you'll see we got like a, uh, a card version of the hair. So just click on this. We're going to go up to file, export, and we're going to export this as a FBX this time. So selected objects, choose mesh. And we're going to choose Y forward, Z up, go down to geometry. We're going to change this to faces right here. Uncheck bake animations. Uh, we're not adding bones, but we can uncheck add leaf bones for the hell of it. So we're going to change the name of this from hair to, to be hair to cards. And then we're just going to export it. And we're going to hop back into Unreal Engine. And then we're going to bring in our card version of our hair. Just pull that in. Import it. And as you can see, you pull it in. Um, and we got our hair in here. Got the card version of our hair. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into this hair material right here. And I'm going to make it... I'm going to click on this. I'm going to make it two-sided. Just check two-sided. Like that. Doesn't matter. We're not going to be using this material anyways. This material won't work once we get it into the... Uh, our hair, our groom. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open our groom right here. And then on the cards tab, we're going to add a card asset. We're going to add... Uh, a bunch of these, or, you know, the same amount that you have for LODs. So, two more. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you this on LOD 2. LOD index 2. So, I'm going to change this from procedural to imported. And then, I'm going to bring in this hair card right here. And set that as the groom then we're going to go back over here to uh materials because we'll want to add a material to this go to the material slots right here and we're going to add one and we're just going to go to content and we're going to type in uh hair defaults and i'm just going to pull in this hair default for now and then we're going to go back to our uh cards right here and I'm going to set this to be our zero material. And now if you go into your LODs, I'm going to change it on the LOD2. So on your LOD2 here, I'm going to change this from strands to cards. And now if you zoom out, when you get to that LOD, it'll change to that card version of the hair. And you can see that in the viewport as well. It'll, it'll change out. And that's basically, you know, that's kind of what, you know, metahumans are doing with their, their hair system. You are just changing these from strands to cards when you get further back on the LODs. So, now obviously you want to work on your hair material. You'll probably want a version of your hair material specifically for cards. That's also what metahumans do, if you look in here. Go to metahumans and just type in hair. Oh, uh, just let's just find some materials. 
You'll see they have these hair defaults, they have the M hair, they have the facial hair materials, and then they have hair cards materials. So they have separated materials for their hairs and their cards. Oh yeah, just another uh, side note before we end here. Um, something you can do if you want dif uh, different amounts of vertices for your hair cards. You can go into Blender, and then we're just gonna hide that. And then on your normal hair here, what you can do is you can go into the particle settings, and you can just set uh, different display amounts, and then do the same process. You know, convert it, um, convert to mesh, and then convert to curve, and then affect all of that stuff. And then you know, that that'll give you different uh, different vertices amounts that you can then export as different hair card versions for the different LODs. So yeah, we'll call it here. That's kind of all I wanted to show in this one. We got our hair in, we got our card system set up with the LODs. And yeah, we're just going to call it here for this one. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new around here, definitely subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know those down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.